This is LiveHipHopDaily.tv. As growing up, like, whenever, you know, I would listen to songs, like, you know, my sisters or whatever, you know, I was, I was only only boy, so I was like only child almost. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Little Rob Kardashian <laughs> over here. All right. But um, whenever I would listen to songs, like, I would sing, like, the sounds in the songs, like, the most of the time, I won't sing the words. Like, I'll sing the sounds, like, that I hear in the song. And then a lot of people be like, I never heard that sound. Like, now when I hear the song, I'm always going to hear that sound because you saying it out, you singing it out loud like it's words. Like, I always hear stuff in my ear like that. And um, I guess that's what pushed me into production. Like, you know, just hearing sounds in my head and, like, putting the uh, mixes together and stuff like that. And um, didn't start producing until really, like, 2003 when I kind of got introduced into that. And um, my, my piece was whack back then. I already know that. <laughs> hey, 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 you got to start somewhere. You got you to gotta start somewhere. And um, that was just a development stage. And um, and then, you know, I, I, I grew into it, and I, you know, I liked it, and I just wanted to keep going. And um, and it spun from there. So here I am today. <laughs> so uh, where are you from? From New York, Bronx, oh, okay. New York. Oh, okay, okay. Born yeah. in Queens. Uh, born in Queens. Uh, shout out uh, Rosedale and uh, Cambridge Heights. And then uh, moved to the Bronx later on, uh, Gun Hill, East Chester. You know what's so funny? A lot of people that we know don't even know you DJ. And then they hear you DJ yeah, and they be so like, oh, funny. my God, like, he's <laughs> fucking amazing. What the fuck? But you do produce and you DJ. So which one did you start doing first? One, that's the first question. Okay. And two, like is there one that you like <laughs> more than the other? Um, well, of course, DJing was first. And um, production came next. Uh, what I like doing more is really production. That's what I enjoy that more. I enjoy, you know, manipulating sounds and, you know, putting something together. That gives me the energy, like a vibe, you know. I get my ugly mm -hmm. Jay-Z bop. That's just ugly. Like, <laughs> that I, li I like that. But, you know, DJ is always, you know, that's my first love, you know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, before I get into this little cup right here, um, <laughs> <coughs> do you remember the first party that you ever DJ? Wow. That's a good question. Um, no, it might be that party. No, it's not that party. Like, no, there was one before that. No. <laughs> it might have been one before that. No, it might. I want to say one, I guess it was a memorable party, was okay. my sister's uh, surprise birthday party. I forget okay. what uh what year that is. My sister's old, she's gonna kill me for that. But um <laughs> Oh, see you're gonna get a text. You're gonna get a text in a second. But it was her surprise birthday party and I was so hyped for it because I I remember this party because I was hyped for it because my father was like, he said, he said, You doing the whole party, I'm not DJing. He said, It's not my crowd, I'm not doing it. I said, like, All right, cool. So I was hyped for it the whole month. Mm -hmm. I put it on my calendar. <laughs> And I, I shouldn't have put it on my calendar because it's sitting on my wall and my sister's in my room and she oh. talking to me whatever. She caught the calendar. She's like, oh, I got a party coming oh, up. <laughs> happy birthday to me. You ruined the surprise. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, my father to find out too late. like, you put it on your calendar. It was, it was a surprise and you messed it up. I was like, oh, well. But uh, that was a memorable party because um, that's when I was like, uh, my mixes were sounding good. And it was, it, we have it on uh, on video, I believe. I don't know who has the video, but I got to find it. Oh, I got to see that. Yeah, it's, it's, you got to bring yeah. that. We got to play that on Live Hip Hop Daily. <laughs> Cal's good, first party. party. It was a good party. <laughs> so, look, we do have other guests in the building, but I'm not going to rush you off at all because this whole show is about you. But uh, all of our guests have to um, partake in this little cup that I've put on the floor. Uh -oh. Can you grab that for me, Cal? I need, I need all the Dr. Seuss questions I can get. Yep. <laughs> so, there's something... There's something that we do here with all of our guests. It's called Truth or Truth. So these are questions from maybe about the past, maybe four shows. Maybe. We should have been plead, keeping plead them the from fifth. the beginning. You cannot <laughs> plead the fifth. It is Truth or Truth. I'm going to have you pick two questions. Okay. And you know how this goes. Can't lie. Can't plead the fifth. These questions are a combination of people that have been here in our live studio audience. They write anonymous questions, put them in the air about anything. So... You could get a good question or you could get a, a boy shorts and thong right. question. You know, it just <laughs> it just depends on what you pick. Right. I think this is a good one. Hold on. Don't be don't be looking for the ones you remember. <laughs> well, let me see, let me see. Dr. Seuss? I do like, like green eggs and ham. No. That's what it looked like. No. Um 
What do you think about the way music is evolving? Okay. That's a good one. That's a good question. That's a good one. Um, mu- music is changing, like, every decade or so, like, um, but this, you know, trap music has been around for a long time, and that's what's really has taken over music right now, but um, I just miss the you know the lyrical side of like music or rap music if you will that's that's what i miss the most like putting bars together and like really having something to say in their music like that's that's what you know really drawing me to music like that um i mean everybody likes turn up music you know you got to turn up every once in a while but you know i just miss the lyrical side of music and i feel like that's what's missing i miss you know good r&b music like real real r&b music uh, Cause now the R and B music sounds like the trap music. It is trap. And trap music. music starting to sound like the R and B music. It's exactly. like <laughs> everybody's singing. It's getting crisscrossed, and um, and I just you know I miss I miss music like that, like genuine R and B music. Like that's I like I like that stuff. You know I like chords. I like hearing you know harmonies. I like hearing stuff like that. Like everything you know everything you know sh- straight to the bed. Betty, and now, now it's like straight to the car. You ain't even getting to the bed. <laughs> Girl, take your thong off, slide it to the side. It's, it's real ratchet. It's real ratchet. You know, but rap music, I just, you know, miss, you know, lyrical, you know, bars. Who got bars? And, you know, you got something to say, like, and I can hear what you're saying. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the only thing about, you know, the way music is evolving. Okay, Cal, that was a good question. I'm no, no, sorry. Uh-oh. One more. Who got this ransom note? Right. <laughs> now, um, Wait, what is it? We're we gonna get to we gonna get the good one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Shout out Grind Money Music checking in. What up, hits? Hits in the building. Your worst performance experience. Hmm. hmm. That is a good one. Worst performance experience. Um, don't answer with nothing light skin either. Like, <laughs> like I'm always good, so I don't have bad performances. Like, give us a lies, real answer. Lies. <laughs> um, man, let me see. What 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 was not a good good one? I mean, I'm thinking of like personally, or because you know I, a lot of people don't know. I was in a group uh, called Recast Production Group. And, yeah, he um, got bars, y'all. <laughs> in real life like people think i'll be playing when i call you drake <laughs> you really got bars and um i want to say a worst performance hmm it might have been one time where i was like sick as a dog mm. and i like i damn near had a fever and i had to go on stage and i knew like you sweat it out because <laughs> i was trying to sweat it out and it was just bad but i was trying to sweat it out and i remember that because i was uh it was for like a block party at hampton Oh yeah, yeah, you was yeah. gonna sweat that out. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Shout out H U. I like I did my verse and like went off to the side like it was bad. <laughs> so I guess that that would be uh I guess one of one of the few that I can remember right off the top of my head. All right, all right. Well, I'm I'm gonna let you slide. Those were good ones. Put that on the floor. <laughs> Thank you. Those was good ones. If you would have got a whack one, I would have made you pick another one. <laughs> But uh, uh, like we said earlier, we are here because it is the mixtape, special mixtape release episode and website launch episode for DJ Cal. So let's talk a little bit about this mixtape before we get these amazing artists up here and are actually going to bless us with a live performance. So I'm really excited about this. But uh, let the people know about the mixtape, the whole vision behind the mixtape and how you chose the artists for the mixtape. We actually we first sparked the mixtape when we we talked about it um you know, before we came to Live Hip Hop Daily. Mm-hmm. When um, I kind of took that idea and wanted to, you know, put it in something like that. And I was like, you know what? It took me a while to come up with the title for the mixtape. And I'm like, why well, I just call it Highlight? You know, I'm highlighting these artists that's in ATL, artists that's not in ATL. And, um, you know, the underground artists, you know, the music that I like, you know, and I think other people would like. And I, and I want to put that on, you know, a platform or a mixtape, you know, just to give them that shine because they need that shine. And, um, that was the whole drive behind it because, you know, when I heard that song, Nisha Nice, uh, Russian Roulette here, and um, he sent his music in before, and I remember that, and I was like, this dude got bars. <laughs> I said, he's nice. like he's, He got bars, and his songs are dope. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of these artists, they don't get that chance, you know, just to get on a, a mixtape for other people to hear it or something like that. So I figured, you know, put that whole 
good vibe of good music and just put it on a, a whole tape and just highlight these artists, you know, even if they're not in New York. Um, you know, shout out to Visto. I got Visto on there. I got Vince Fontaine out of Virginia. Um, hey, this music I like, and I know the people going to like it. So Visto says yeah. hello, by the way. Shout out to Visto. We was going to surprise <laughs> you. He was going to come, uh, but he had to fly out to L.A. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shout out Visto. Good, good, good luck in L.A., man. He's doing big things. Most definitely. So, um... How did you go? Well, how did you go about picking the artists? Did you solely just say these are just artists that I like personally? Did it have something to do with uh, the show? How did exactly did you pick these artists for the first mixtape? Oh, yeah, it kind of had to do with the show, kind of both. Um, picking the artist that's been on the show, you know, because um, they sent their music in. You know, whoever was on the show, the music was dope, and I wanted to put them. You know, put them. I guess they got first dibs, if you will, but. Um, because we have other music that's been sent in. But um, I wanted to get them on first. Um, and this, def this is definitely a part one because it's definitely going to be more. Because there's so much other, you know, a whole bunch of other music that I haven't gotten to or put it into another mix. But that's coming soon as well. And um, so, yeah, I had to do it. You know, I like the artists. Um, I like the songs. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's simple. <laughs> I'm trying to make it more difficult, but it's it's really simple. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to get into our first video break. Of course, this is DJ Kylesimo's uh, "Time to Shine." Uh -oh. So we're gonna get into our first music video break. When we come back, we're gonna have Russian Roulette yep. come on up here. Um, I'm gonna let DJ Kylesimo talk to him. Uh, to kind of pick his brain because these are the artists that he has picked. And I know there are certain things that you know about them or they know about themselves that you specifically want to highlight, you know, okay. as far as this being your mixtape. So we're going to get into the first video break and we'll be back. It's your girl, Karen Michelle, DJ Kylie, yep. the plug each and every Friday, live hip hop daily TV. Keep it plugged. 